everyone, it's Rachel for another one of our sessions. So this one is all about what's your style. It is going to be very laid back, very informal, and it will need some audience participation. So you'll have to go and grab a paper and a pencil or have something, have your phone or something ready to jot a few things down. But I'm really looking forward to this. So we've got some of our ambassadors coming along. So I'm going to invite them on soon and they'll be able to introduce yourselves and then we'll get started with our quiz. I'm going to give you time as well. So just get a cup of tea, whatever you want. It's very relaxed and I would love to have as many comments as possible. So feel free to put your answers as well in the comments. Now, when I say quiz, it's not like testing your knowledge. This is one of those, what I pictured is when I was in primary school and people who had older sisters would bring in their Just 17 magazines and we'd all sit there hiding around the corner, filling in these like, what's your ideal boyfriend or whatever it might be. And that's the kind of thing that I had in mind. All those BuzzFeed quizzes where you have to look at a picture and say which one that you like the best and that's gonna tell you your home decor style. That's the kind of thing we're going for. So we've got our, uh, our ambassadors here. I'm going to invite them on. We'll have a little chat and then we'll get started. And feel free to say hello in the comments as well. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hello. How are you all? Lorna, how are you? How's your derby? <laughs> Less hectic than yesterday, so all good. <laughs> yeah, you sound like you had a really busy day. You pack so much in. When you describe your day, it's like you're describing my fortnight. I feel like it's intense. It feels like it as well. Yeah. <laughs> Jen, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, just been outside doing some more of the van, so I've come in for a cup of tea. <laughs> Looks exciting. I'm so jealous any time anyone talks about travelling in a van. One of the Twinkle team travels around in a van is often like in Italy doing the in the meetings. Makes me very jealous. <laughs> and Dawn, I know I've already chatted to you beforehand, but how's your day been? Good, good, nice and quiet. We had a bit of a disco thing this afternoon, so that's been fun. Excellent. I didn't see that on Instagram though, you're dancing. No, no, I you I, I would break my neck. No, it's fine. Yeah. I'm clumsy. You just that. I just sit and watch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So these are three of our ambassadors. We do have two others as well. And so we've got a good relationship with them. We know the type of style. I know kind of the type of style of home educators that you are. I know you're all very different. So when I ask you to introduce yourself now, don't tell us what your home ed style is, but just introduce yourself, a fascinating <laughs> fact about yourself or how many kids you've got, whatever you want. And then we'll get started with our little quiz. So Lonnie, you go first. We'll go around oh. that way. Uh, yes, so I'm Lorna and I have twins who are eight. And I try to think of something interesting about me. <laughs> um, that's yeah, that's probably it, really. I have twins. That, that's enough, yeah, isn't that, it, really? That is pretty impressive. Yeah. <laughs> Jen? So, yeah, my name's Jen and I have a newly 14 year old and a 12 year old. Um, and I can play a couple of instruments, the guitar being one. I, I self-taught myself when I was a teenager and I joined like a punk band when I was oh. a teenager <laughs> back Please in the day. Do you have some video footage or something? No, I'm glad that kind of things didn't exist when I was a, well, they did yeah. have phones, but they didn't have video phones and stuff when I was yeah. younger, so <laughs> thankfully. So nothing <laughs> exists, but yeah, I don't play that kind of music anymore. It's a bit more chill now, but yeah, that's very love, cool. love music. Yeah. Dawn, how about you? Um, I've got, I'm home ed to two, so Dexter's 11 and he's got Down syndrome and a few other alphabet additional needs and Daisy who's seven and I genuinely can't think of anything interesting. <laughs> There's loads of interesting stuff about you but yeah, 8pm on a yeah. Tuesday is a really hard time to think of interesting things. Yeah. We've been home ed <laughs> five and a half years so that's five and a half years that is, i was trying to count how long i'd been doing this i think we're on to kind of four or five years now as well still feels very new though like i still feel like a newbie yeah so we've got sj and mandy saying hello in the comments so what it is is i'm gonna just pop this on here so i'm going to first of all just give some disclaimers this is not any kind of official medical advice i don't know why i said medical it's been a long day but this is nothing like this is all in good fun i am trying not um if you're a particular home ed style and it comes up with the wrong answer this is the first time i've done this so please 
don't shoot the messenger. It is just a bit of fun. And hopefully, I feel like we all can laugh a little bit at our own idiosyncrasies when it comes to home ed. So I'm hoping that that comes in a little bit. But we're going to go through it. It's basically one of those where you pick A, B, C, D, E. We ambassadors will chat about it as well. So once we'll talk to our answers, other people can pop them in the comments or they can just write them down. And then at the end, there will be a grand reveal to tell you what your home ed style is. It will be at least 32% accurate. That's the plan. <laughs> so first one is your ideal holiday destination so we've got some different choices coming up are you someone who would like to youth hostel around europe um, maybe like on interrail traveling all around going somewhere like yellowstone national park do we have like hashtag van life a luxury rural cabin with like all the mod cons but out in the middle of nowhere somewhere like tokyo a big busy city or somewhere like greece with a bit of the kind of ancient ruins to to travel around so feel free to say it out loud ambassadors i know what, what? jen's gonna pick <laughs> yeah, no. it's, it's just an obvious isn't it for me it's got to be yeah. van life <laughs> van life yeah lorna what would you pick Try I'm having trouble it. hearing you. I think my speaker's playing up. Sorry. <laughs> but I'm, I'm looking at the pictures and I think Greece probably. Okay. I would say looking at that one. <laughs> Dom, what do you pick? Probably Greece as well, actually. We've been to um, Rhodes before and it's really nice. Really nice. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to say what I would pick. Um, I did have you all in mind when I was writing this. So I'm trying to ah. see if you actually guessed anything that I predicted. Um, <laughs> next one. If you were a superhero, I had to enlist some help to actually know these superheroes. So hopefully I remember them all. <laughs> Don, you know superheroes, don't you? I know you can't hear me. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so you can help me out if I need <laughs> Right. So A is Batman. B is Aquaman. C is Wolverine. D is Spider-Man. Iron Man and then Doctor Strange. So who's your favourite? Mm. Who do you maybe most resonate with? This is I meant, for me, it's going to have to be Aquaman because I quite fancy him and I've got a little pop Aquaman on my <laughs> bookshelf. <laughs> and I've got Thor as well, but he's not on there. So yeah, yeah Aquaman for me, definitely. Aquaman, okay. Yeah, I agree with Jen completely. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For the same reasons. Exactly. Massive Jason yeah. Momoa fan. <laughs> so these are two different know, questions. Who's not? <laughs> Dawn, did you go for Aquaman? No, I, you see, no. I didn't go down that route. I went down no. like, yeah, if it was up to my husband, he'd say Batman, but I think we're probably more like Spider-Man. Yeah, I think I would have picked Spider-Man as well oh someone's saying wolverine just because of his voice in the animation i do love wolverine he's my favorite out of all of those dr strange we've got i wonder like i said i have put thought into why i picked these i feel like the answers at the end are gonna not match it at all especially <laughs> going like who's the most good looking but we'll see um, <laughs> on. you have a spare 20 minutes what do you do do you make lunch for tomorrow's forest school, gather a bunch of crafts on Pinterest, get embroiled in the latest social media debate, doom scroll on social media, play a couple of levels of your favourite game, or finally finish that podcast? What would you pick? I have ADHD, so all of them, if they stop me from doing the thing I'm meant to be doing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 20 minutes will turn into like three days, and then... Like, what was mm -hmm. that? I actually mm -hmm. went into that room for. Yeah. Yeah, doom scroll all day. Mm -hmm. Even if yeah. I've got 20 doom scrolling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's interesting knowing what these link gonna... to. That it's like, <laughs> I'm psychoanalyzing you all as we do this. Right, let's see if anyone in the comment has said. Um, or G, procrastinate until the 20 minutes runs out. Yep, that is definitely, <laughs> definitely one. I would. I was watching the reel today because I doom scroll on social media, and it was talking about the different ways of procrastinating, and it was about how like you can start a new business or do all these like projects 
just to avoid this like one simple task. And I think that's what I would be doing. I'd have some big idea that I'd then go off and do. A few people seem <laughs> impressed. Right, next one. Pick a fabric for the latest must have home ed dungarees. Is it just up here that like dungarees seem to be a certain type of home edder? Or is it everywhere else? Um, I've never heard of it. <laughs> No. I've never heard about the dungaree thing, so um, it just seems I don't like think I own a pair of dungarees. <laughs> okay, well, let's there's see then. A brand of dungaree. There's a, a specific brand of dungaree. Yeah, we can see it. Lucy and Yak. Yeah. Yes. I was going to say a name and an animal. <laughs> yeah. Um, so these are the choices. Are you going for hardware and impractical? If you don't wear dungarees, then kind of what would be your go-to, like, <laughs> Um, uniform for home ed hardware and impractical organic linen anything animal print comfy and colorful air wicking and stretchy or soft and flowing yes someone is saying that cornwall is full of dungarees so yeah and see someone else saying they got dungarees for the birthday it's a thing i think maybe it's like women of a certain age of a certain political persuasion maybe i don't know it's definitely a thing i'm going with denim because <laughs> they're the original dungarees aren't they yeah they These are dungarees you know gotta go with the original <laughs> i'm, yeah, I'm wearing you? my animal print ones ah. i was gonna yeah. pick comfy and com colorful but now i'm torn with denim because like you said they are like what you put kids in yeah you wear them as a, yeah i probably wore and like country bit of country style you know yeah chewing mm. your yeah what's it called Strong. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to do an American accent because I'll probably be really bad at it. So <laughs> I will refrain. I, I live with an American accent. I know. That's American. why I thought I, I, not. I could do my accent. We chew on hay. It's fine. Uh, yeah. You just have loads of denim dungarees. Do you not? Uh, no, no, I have got a pair of corduroy ones that my friend gave me, actually. Oh, cord. I should have put cord on there. Have you all picked yeah. I'm going to move on to the next one. Let's see. Which phrase describes your home ed space best? And the disclaimer is, we know the world is our classroom, but if you have a space inside, which describes it best? So creative corner, basket and books. It's not a place, it's a posture. Complete chaos, grab and go, or carefully curated. Hmm. This is an easy can choice. We, can we have carefully curated chaos? <laughs> <laughs> sure, but then you won't get a fair answer at the end. It might be you put you put both down and see at the end. You might see if it's weird. Right. Yeah. I mean, it is complete chaos, but it's very organised chaos, and I know where everything is. <laughs> yeah, mine's just chaos right now. I'm going to go Everyone with chaos. Got... I'm going to go with creative corner because ours is actually in the corner that I'm sat now. And yeah. this is where all the imagination and creation happens. Yeah, um, you see, I can I can picture some people's, like, homes. And there's definitely, like, when I was writing this, I definitely had people in mind and kind of Instagram profiles on mine that I'd seen. <laughs> um, let's see if anyone in the comment has put anything. I don't know if the D's, some people are putting stuff and I don't know if it's for this one or the last one. Right, next one. What's your must have item for days out? So, some pictures there. Pick a picture first aid kit, a basket, your pet lizard, baby wipes, an iPhone, or a stash of books. Definitely B for me. Yeah, basket. Would it have food in or would it be for foraging things? It'd be like coffee, always yeah. coffee. Yeah. And then it would be food because I've got teenagers, remember? Tween and teenagers. Yeah. So it's literally that's all they think about is food and snacks. So yeah. it's like they've gone back to when they were younger. Yeah. Like when they were like two, three years so. <laughs> old. It's like it goes back again as they get older. Oh, so, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Sorry, guys, to be the bearer of bad news. <laughs> I feel like you just come out of the like have to have breadsticks on me the whole time phase. But that's good to know. So a few people mm -hmm. saying someone saying E, which is a mobile phone. Um, 
it's changed with time but it was first aid and now books yeah i imagine some of this depends on your stage in life john what have you put i've i've put b but only because i can probably fit nearly everything else apart from the lizard in it yeah oh, that's very <laughs> practical you, you might impact my system here i think <laughs> yeah we need like daisy's constantly asking me to take photos dexter's needs meds and wipes all the time yeah. and Daisy needs food all the time so I would probably lean more towards B. Yeah. yeah. Lorna? First aid kit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rens is over a lot. Yeah, mine yeah. would be the fourth. A I knew you would pick first aid kits. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> um, someone saying the last thing I'd want is E. It drives me nuts with a phone yeah but I feel like I do everything on it and I can only have my job because I have a phone to be able to access it um for some people saying a first aid kit yeah I think that depends on the kids as well isn't it some kids definitely need one the last thing you downloaded from twinkle I had to have a twinkle related one in so we've got A's like planner things, B the spotter guide, C kind of a pack all about debating, D the mindfulness colouring in sheets, we've got top trumps and then we've got a unit study on toilets throughout history. So is there anything that is similar to that that you downloaded recently? See the cogs turning. Dawn, what was the last thing you downloaded? I'm trying to think whether it was, I think it was actually the pack for the conference. So that I'll probably uh, call it A. Yeah. But Daisy's had me printing like 30 things about koalas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like random things. Yeah. yeah, she watched the program about koalas and now she wants to go and live with koalas. So yeah. Yeah. Does she know they're smelly, was... by the way? Yeah, I don't think she cares. Yeah. She knows they're covered in ants <laughs> and things like that, and she thinks they're cute. <laughs> and... <laughs> you have to get her on YouTube. Um, there's some like really good like things about them being all smelly and stinky. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so that. I've held a koala. Like, I lived in Australia for a couple of years, so oh, wow. I got to hold a koala. But yeah, it was a bit stinky. <laughs> I wasn't that impressed. I was about nine, and I was like, "Have it back." Yeah, <laughs> I didn't like it anymore. <laughs> Lorna, what was the last thing you downloaded? The last big thing was the botanical adventure, but I have down downloaded things since. But it would have been that kind of stuff, topic related. Yeah. 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 A few people are saying the conference pack. <laughs> Someone is saying I'm like that with babies. I think with the koala, they do also <laughs> stink a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly said Definitely. that, but people, people get really cross with me when I talk about my aversion to babies. Oh, I love babies. <laughs> I, <didn't comment. laughs> I just, I get so broody at the whole way through, so when everyone brings their, like, little babies, uh, I love it, but they do smell, that's true. Mm. <laughs> um, next one, what's your shoe of choice? All the difficult questions tonight, your shoe of choice. It depends on the context and season, obviously. Leather sandals with a buckle, no socks unless it's really chilly. Perfectly worn in and slightly battered boots. Slippers or wellies, there's no in between. Good trainers, function of a style, or those kind of barefoot shoes, or just being barefoot. A. A, mm, yeah. A. Trainers. Yeah. I feel like I called it for yeah. those. I, I think I'm either a, a D or sometimes a B, not without without the socks. I'm looking forward to just being able to put sandals on and just live in them for the summer. But yeah. Okay, you're all very confident there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, what are all the presenters currently wearing on their feet? I presume you mean on your feet. The admin, so Emma, who's doing our um, admin background, she's asking what you're currently wearing on your feet, I presume. Just socks. fluffy socks. Socks, yeah. Socks. Socks, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
How do you plan? I think this is pictures. So we've got the kind of stationery all laid out, all the bits and bobs. We've got kind of scrapbooking. We've got the just kind of post-it notes, crime scene line type thing. Some writing on your hand, all the technology or just nice simple notebook. Oh. My friend Kirsty got me to use good notes and so half of mine is on the ipad and everything is planned really accurately on the ipad because i can cut things and drag them when they move but day-to-day -day stuff is all post-it notes everywhere yeah <laughs> i go through phases i've done every single one of these probably in the mm. last three months as well where i've just like oh i'm going to do this and do this and yeah Jen, are you a planner, Jen? Because you're more I, on schooly, aren't you? Yeah, I originally I bought that Twinkle planner. Yeah. <laughs> and I think it lasted about two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> and then I went to post it. So now, because <laughs> we're very like child led, when they come up with an idea, I just like stick a little post it everywhere. And then yeah. I go, oh, we need to do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then I know what I'm shopping as well if I have to buy things. So yeah, we're very just like plan as you go. Yeah. <laughs> we tried, but yeah. failed. I, I would have guessed, I think, that you would have been that. Dawn? I, I, I love a notebook. So I've got yeah. tons of notebooks, all full of fantastic ideas, but then I forget to check the notebooks and yeah. I write stuff down on post-its. Yeah. And then, like Jen, it's a bit of a panic when I see a post-it that might have <laughs> fallen down that I've forgotten about. <laughs> <laughs> but there's loads of notebooks full yeah. of great ideas. Yeah. My my like notes my my screenshots I screenshot a lot of things for plans like oh that's a good idea and I'll take a picture. Um, mm -hmm. I had to delete seven thousand. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah, um, a few people. So Emma says she likes a book to write in. Um, F, but it's just for sure. Really, definitely have done that yeah. when I've made like a <laughs> plan and then took a picture of it and been like, look at this, and then we do like one thing um someone else saying list on google docs on my phone notes yep and then someone else is with me on the screenshot i feel less ridiculous now okay interesting we're going to see what you're all going to end up in someone says they use notion i don't know what notion mm -hmm. is it's a lot of like online stuff that i just mm -hmm. I don't know i have to investigate trello is another one i think people use isn't it um pick an instrument what was that, Lorna? Lorna what I use a post-it note app on my phone. So it's technology, but it's a post-it note, but it works like yeah. post-it notes. That's like I love that app. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Right, an instrument, just go for it. Anything, we've got some kind of flutes, is it? Drums. Emma, who's watching, she's musical, she'll know. We've got harmonica, we've got the drums, acoustic guitar, we've got the, the good, what do they call it, guitar and violin so you can either pick what you can play what you would like to be able to play what your favorite thing to listen is just go for your gut instinct here e for me. drums drums and Dom, what did you say the key the key yeah why <laughs> um i can play happy birthday on the piano so i reckon i could play happy birthday on that yeah Plus, I feel like it's so, like, now it's cool. Will it be cool again? I don't, like, is it cool now? I don't know. My kids will probably think it was. I don't I think know. I've ever seen one of them in real life. <laughs> a key, a hmm. guitar. I don't think I've ever seen one in real life. <laughs> no, I used to be able to play the accordion. Like, well, I used to be able to play, like, three songs on the accordion. So I guess that's, like, a version of the guitar. I did the recorder at school. Yeah, me too. I had to draw the little hymns at assembly when they came yeah. in. <laughs> I thought my kids never ever meet a recorder. Like I just, you know, one of them I think I think my daughter got one with like a free magazine, and my like husband was like throwing things at me by the end of the day because yeah. <laughs> it was so noisy. And I was like, "Well done, keep going. You might be able to play the flute one day." <laughs> but he hated it. He was like, "Get it off." <laughs> So I'm so non-physical that when I was at school, they put me in the school band and they just put 
me on the xylophone and told me to just pretend I looked like I knew what I was doing because no one would hear me. <laughs> so I, everyone else was playing their music properly and I was just at the back going, dong, dong. <laughs> That's the extent yeah. of my musical training. My brother was taught to mime in the school choirs because his voice was so bad. <laughs> Just to <laughs> I don't think you could do that this day, could you? So Emma said yes, it's flute. She's very musical, so I trust her. We've got um, a guitar because Dolly Parton is my idol. Was it, Lorna, was it you that suggested a Dolly Parton unit for Twinkle? Yes, it was. Yes, for um, Women's Day, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she is pretty cool, Dolly Parton. We've it's got... amazing. <laughs> Well, we've got steel pans, has an amazing sound. Some people disagree. So I didn't put steel pans. You said drums, didn't you, Lorna? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. <laughs> mm. The last snack you gave your kids. So here's a selection. We've got the kind of thing that looks like a cat, all that effort going into it. We've got some kind of organic nutty vegetable mm. fresh loaf we've got the kids doing it themselves we've got custard creams we've got smoothies and then we've got like the nice selection of all the different bits crudite yes so someone is saying <laughs> that their eight-year-old son listens to jolene and nine till five all day long love that oh amazing love it. that's quality <laughs> yeah I can play yeah. Jolene. Yeah. <laughs> we need to. We need to see that. that needs to... <laughs> yeah. I did. I did a smelly cat the other day when my daughter's um, yeah. had a friend round, and they thought I was really cool because I could play smelly cat. That's so they like all <laughs> enough to watch stuff with you that you actually friends. Yeah, we're currently. I think she's on about season four of Friends, so she's yeah. loving it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that'll be sad. That's going to be strange. All right now, all of our like jokes are all about Bluey or something. Dude. And Wait until they're about friends. Me. Yeah. It gets a little bit more complicated, though. Yeah, I bet. Phoebe's currently, Phoebe's currently pregnant in like season four to her brother, like, because she's a oh, surrogate. Yeah. So there was a few questions there, yeah. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> what was that, Dawn? It's a learning experience. It is, yeah. It is. <laughs> we need some kind of twinkle unit on Friends. Um, Definitely. That would be so cool, that. <laughs> yeah. Well, we probably do have something, I'm sure. They've got everything. Um, so I only found it yesterday. Someone says that Baby from Dirty Dancing played Mindy in Friends. I can't think who Mindy is. I can't picture it. He's, she's time. the one that um, dated Rachel's, the guy that she was getting married right, right at the start. Uh, I think he was like her bridesmaid. Yeah. Yeah, and then she went um, off with him. Oh, she's some yeah, yeah. yeah. Learn something new, even if no one learns See, anything from this. If this, if this is a friend quiz, that. I'll be winning. Yes. <laughs> um, next one. Pick a word that resonates with you. This is the one a little bit more from the, the horse. Let's see. Purpose, freedom, courage, perseverance, dynamic. A growth. I really, I just think I had all this, like, they're going to pick this, and so it'll be this type of style at the end. It's going to be all over the place. I'm a little bit worried. I think we should see <laughs> what you thought we would pick, Rachel. Oh, yeah. I definitely had some of you in mind when I was writing down some of the descriptions. <laughs> <laughs> be interesting to see which ones you thought we were <laughs> yeah but then every every description i wrote i was like oh yeah that's me and then the next one oh yeah that's me so <laughs> it's just, maybe it's just that i'm neurodivergent might be um what word did you choose dawn b freedom definitely yeah definitely. jen what did you go for <laughs> the same one b I freedom thought, yeah lorna <laughs> I went dynamic. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> growth. Someone's mentioned growth. It's a tricky one because they're, they're all very good words. Tally up the letters. You, we've got to the end. So tally up Ooh. the letters that you picked. <laughs> I'm 
I've got a feeling they're going to be all over the place. But if you do have yeah. a lean in, shout it out. I wonder if Emma's been doing this as well, our moderator. I'll be interested to see what she is. I definitely judge everybody very quickly, like, oh, there must be this kind. And I'm not, obviously I'm not always right, but I like to think that I am. <laughs> Dawn, have you got an answer? You look like you've finished tallying. What was yours yeah. mainly? D. D, okay. Okay, I think I would have been with you on the D as well. Lorna, have you managed to get a... Yeah, a yeah. I had three Ds. Okay. Three Ds. Okay. So someone's saying um, F, F and B, a few people are saying, oh, we've got a D, so... Um, I'm an F and B. B. An F and a B, okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a draw it's a between F and B. It's a big reveal where we realise how little I know about home ed and you all. <laughs> <laughs> so... These are the different types, and then I will explain them. Okay, so A is the organizer, B, the wanderer, C, the liberator. Then we've got the survivor, the innovator, and the philosopher. So I'm going to read out the descriptions and tell me how wrong I am. So the organizer. So this Lorna is one that I thought you might be. <laughs> so don't worry. Look like it from the outside, your home ed has a well-maintained structure. Whether it's designing a topic, arranging classes, or rotating through your daily lessons, you love a plan. You, you've usually got a stash of prepared resources handy, but let's be honest, there's likely a drawer full of curriculum you excitedly bought but have never used in the end. So that's definitely <laughs> Yeah, that's 100%. Yeah. I feel like a, yeah. right, I'm going to keep going, see how, how I'm doing. <laughs> You're great to have in a home ed group to rally everyone to the right time and place and you always have a link or two to share in the online group. Sometimes your kids wish every milestone didn't come with a supply of laminated flashcards and a sensory tub, but mostly they love waking up to the array of structured activities you provide. Just remember to relax sometimes, even if it's just window shopping for another planner. Does that resonate with anyone? Definitely. I feel like Thanks. I was kind of close, Lorna. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, put on with the description, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it, the quiz didn't match up, did it? There was too, there was too much nuance. If you're just going on, who's the best looking? And, and it is tricky, <laughs> right. Um, so Emma is saying that she should have been here. She's the organiser. I would have thought that too as well. Emma does all the editing for us, and she is, like, super on it. Um, let's see. The Wanderer. Did anyone get the Wanderer? Bees? I got, I got yeah. the Wanderer. Okay. So we'll see. Hi, see, so yeah. Oh, I don't know if I would pick this, Jen. I might have picked a different one for you, but we'll see. Um, you'll be found wandering through woods and charity shops, possibly fiddling absentmindedly with a lichen you just rescued from the Asda car park. You're a great one to have at the home and meet up, as your playful approach means you're always ready with a magical story or a life lesson. Your house might be overrun with vintage books, but your kids love the whimsical adventures you take indoors and outdoors. You take a gentle approach to learning and you're not bothered at all that your kid can name 214 types of fungus but doesn't give a monkeys about times tables. Keep frolicking. Did that, any of that sound like you, Jen? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a book nerd. Yeah. And I'm always in the woods a lot. So there's like not sort yet. of half truths to it. Yeah, it's like half me. Half truths. Half truths. <laughs> and... Um, I'm seeing if anyone in the comments is a wanderer. So Kerry got half between the wanderer and the philosopher. So I wonder if any of that resonates with her. Right, let's see. The liberator. You thrive on questions, teaching your kids to question everything and doing the same yourself. You won't find curricula on your shelves, but probably a stack of games, ticket stubs from the latest art festival and possibly some leftover neon hair dye. Your family doesn't fit the mold and you like it that way. Each day is different and no one size fits all. Your kids love the freedom you give them and are full of amazing opinions. And although you sometimes wish their opinions weren't quite so forthright, you're really proud of the outside of the box family you've become. Does that resonate with anyone? Anyone feel like they've got bits of that? Definitely, yeah. Yeah, but see, that's the one that I might have picked. For you, <laughs> Especially being vegan family as well. Yeah. 
Definitely outside more. We're, we've just got into the hair dye thing and I feel like with my dungarees <laughs> and my husband's got blue hair now that we're like <laughs> very stereotypical of certain home edders, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see if anyone in the comments is, is that C I think, wasn't it? Right, D, Dawn, it's us. <laughs> right now, the idea of a style feels ridiculous. You're just focusing on getting through the day, balancing a ton of spinning plates as you do it. You spend a lot of time thinking about what to do and gathering resources, but you feel like you never follow through. At the end of each day, this I didn't pick this one for you, Dawn. It's just because you said, but I, I resonate with this a lot. Um, at the end of each day, you scroll on social media wondering how other people manage and go to bed exhausted and full of guilt. You need to give yourself a break. There are seasons where circumstances mean survival. It's all you need to think about. Take a deep breath, pack away the plan and the guilt, and take time to notice all the wonderful ways your kids are growing in this tricky can't see on my screen tricky time is it is that right don't you think 100 percent. yeah yes. definitely <laughs> did you pick up the creams yeah when to, yeah see knew it knew it yeah i feel like this like most days i'm like this and then i feel like a little bit of the other one um oh someone's saying that they've just been searching I got for from that organizer, they've been just searching for new planners. Yeah, we all do it, don't we? Innovator. So I don't think anyone got the, did, what's this? This must be E. I don't think anyone got E. Pencil and paper just doesn't do it for you. You're developing kids that will be equipped for whatever new technological advances come their way. Learning online is integral to your home journey and your kids get access to experts across the globe through gaming, documentaries, podcasts, or live lessons. You can take your home ed on the road easily and you take advantage of outsourcing teaching by pursuing your own passions in a changing world. You love researching new concepts and trying them out in your home. You're a go get a family that's ready to take on whatever is thrown at them just so long as you can find the charging cable. Anyone resonate with any of that? Is that yeses? I can't there are bits of it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely I bits don't. of that. We definitely like it's not that we don't use technology and I do like to make sure things are charged up, but um, I feel like we're a bit, we're not quite quick enough to keep up with everything. Like my kids don't even know what Minecraft is, really bless it. So we're a bit behind. Philosopher, so this was the last one I think. Whether it's an official course or self-directed learning, you're just as likely to be studying alongside your children. And while you're up to date with research and know the why of pretty much every parenting and educational choice you make, you won't be found down in the trenches of social media debates. You rise above, sustained by the quote you've got stuck on your fridge and the neatly laid out baskets of manipulatives at child height in your living room. Your kids feel safe and secure as you guide with great intent and deliberation. And other home ed parents often turn to you for advice. Don't forget though, a little chaos once in a while is good for the soul someone got that in the yeah a few people seem to get f in there i i don't resonate with much of this anyone feel like it's them no, no. i got i got b and f but it's definitely not oh, me yeah. no <laughs> maybe like self-directed learning or like pursuing your own passions i guess mm. but um i'm not um consistent enough. I feel like you have to be fairly consistent to be like this. I mean, maybe it's more like the Montessori type and I am not, can't, yeah. I can't keep that consistency, I think. No. So do you think I've covered all the types there or do, is there any other types you think I might have missed out? <laughs> no, I think that's pretty, hmm. I think you got them all quite well. Yeah, I'm interested to see what people who watch on Catch Up as well see uh, what they think and if they think that I'm accurate. Oh, so a few people have said that I am, um, that I've got it right. Whew. Um, we'll see. So, <laughs> we have come to the end of the quiz now. Thank you a lot for joining us. Before we go, though, can you tell, just briefly tell us then, what is your home ed style and maybe any... Um, advice you want to throw out there for people, encouragement, whatever you fancy. So I'll go first. We're fairly unschooly, eclectic, a bit like Charlotte Masony. We like the nature stuff. Um, and we're starting to come, a little, I'm finding that we're needing a bit more structure. So we're having to add a little bit of that in. Um, but it, ours waxes and wanes for the seasons, really. So when it's, 
when well seasons as in literal seasons but also like if we're all sick and ill like we, we just switch off and don't really do much and then when it's like a couple of weeks we're all excited about one thing we might do that and then the summer comes and we're all about nature studies so I was varies a lot anyone else want to share what they are I was speaking to my husband about this because I said it's pretty much winging it and he said it's not winging it it's child-led <laughs> and I said actually I'm not even sure if it's child-led so much as opportunity-led because we tend to when an opportunity comes up to go on a trip or look at something or a new resource comes up or there's like an online lesson somewhere then we tend or I tend to steer us in that direction and we will put something down and pick it up so I'm going to go with opportunity-led. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, I've not thought about it like that. Yeah, mm. that is definitely, yeah, I can see that being an advantage as well because then it also matters what everyone wants, not just the kids, but also the parents and, like, what's going on around as well. Dawn, yeah. how would you describe, I know you've got Survivor, but what would you describe yourself <laughs> as? Um, the bare bones of it, we are quite organised and we do yeah. sort of follow packs and curriculums and things like that but Dexter does have a lot of like medical appointments and things like that so we are very much based on survival yeah <laughs> um, like the whole thing about the seasons and things we're just coming out of like three months where it's just been wall-to-wall -wall appointments so we've not really done that much but it's sort of finishing a little bit now so we're picking back up with learning about the more structured things so it's yeah it, yeah, it's, it is a bit of both, but we are definitely survivalists. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I've noticed as well, though, like within those seasons, like I think sometimes they, oh, they've like a little forgotten everything or no progress has been made, like academically speaking. But then yeah. like you pick something up three months later and they're actually like their development and ready for it in a way that they yeah. weren't. And they actually like have jumped ahead in that. Yeah. So I think like it does. They need a gap. Well they need a break mm -hmm. sometimes to sort of absorb what you've been doing before they're ready to go to the next part and I think yeah. this time has been the first time where I've just like let it happen rather than get hung up on the fact that we're not following the lists anymore and it's been yeah. for me much better much less yeah. stressful yeah that makes sense Jen how about you yeah we're a little bit the same as you like unschooly but also sort of do topic a few topic child-led um topic <laughs> if that makes sense but yeah, yeah um with mine being a bit older obviously my son started working as well he does one day a week with my husband oh cool. so he gets to earn money now as well because he's 14 so yeah. that kind of like changes things up because I get a whole day with my daughter oh so yeah we do like things that she loves to do so mainly art <laughs> art yeah. is like love so yeah I just try to let them do what they want to do and try and incorporate everything around their interests yeah yeah i've i really like getting the snapshots of like the future of what it's like with older kids because i think we can sometimes be fearful of teenage years and home mm -hmm. editing so i really like time to you and just like feeling like oh actually it's very possible but not only is it possible but it like it sounds really enjoyable as well yeah it's nice but it feels a lot more freedom as they get a bit older you feel a bit freer as a as a home educator parent yeah I think that's what that's what I can sort of share with you I yeah. feel definitely freer now that they're a bit older and I have like one-to-one -one time more and yeah it's easier yeah, it is excited it makes me excited definitely and we've got a few people saying their styles in the comments so one is child-led sort of unschooly school trauma recovery and play-based which does sound like a lovely sort of life for our kids doesn't it that they have in like this kind of I don't know such intentional thought around it like no matter our styles that it's all geared around like getting the best out of our kids and I think that that is I think we should give ourselves a pat on the back for that because mm. we do a great job even when we're just eating the custard creams and wearing our slippers <laughs> and listening to Dolly Parton although I think that 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 does we definitely need a Dolly Parton unit I think a twinkle but thank you everybody for taking part thank you ambassadors for coming on I really appreciate it and Tomorrow at this time, we're going to have um, another guest on and we're going to be talking like honest conversations. So any questions anyone has about anything comed related, especially the things that you feel embarrassed asking or you um, feel like you shouldn't ask, then definitely um, get in touch with those. So we'll be trying to answer those tomorrow. But thank you again, everybody. Have a lovely evening.
And I will see you soon. Bye. Thanks for having me.